Hi, it's Al again, and I want to do an update on the aquaponics system. Um, to show you a couple of things uh, on how to measure and cut, where to do it, and mistakes to avoid. Uh, so let's begin first with, uh, with the barrel halves. Um, I kind of measured out and I, I figured out the easiest way to do it, uh, to get a consistent place is to make that hole for the, uh, in my case, I decided to use one inch uh, pipe. So um, we are going to use a one inch fitting that's threaded that'll go through that hole. And the way that I did it is I measured from the edge back 14 inches, centered it, and then cut it with a hole saw. Uh, and that came out real easy. So uh, that's that's kind of the way to go. Uh, I already had put everything together, and you can see there's some silicone in here. I had some silicone that uh, I had stored that I already had opened and had stored a few months uh, this year. I decided to use that. I put a nail in it, uh, you know, to kind of keep it from uh, drying out and evaporating. I took the nail out, used it, and uh, there must be something that's volatile in that uh, silicone because it never dried up and it just turned out like junk. So what I did is I ended up taking them all off and I put them in a, uh, uh, in a uh, acid bath essentially to get rid of the silicone and dissolve it. And then uh, you get it out and you dry it or you wash it really good with soap and water and after that I follow it with some bleach and it comes out pretty clean. Now all I gotta do is kind of scrape that off of the barrels and that should be do, that that should do it and then just go ahead and put the fittings back in there now uh, a little trick that I learned uh, on the fittings um, on these uh, brood barrels or I'm sorry these are the overflow barrels these are the sumps where the water is going to drain to so uh, there's going to be three uh, of these trays that will drain into one tank and three the other three will drain to the other tank and they're going to be a pipe together with a two inch pipe so when we look at it here's the uh, the two inch fitting that'll go in here and it fits perfectly in there so if you turn the barrel over you'll find that there's a couple of things that I I didn't know and didn't notice and hopefully I will save you guys some uh, trouble when you cut out that hole for the sump uh, don't cut it like I did uh, cut it on the other side and I'll explain to you why whether the, you could either cut it on the other side or cut it perpendicular 90 degrees off to one side I'll explain why the seam on the barrel it's not even it's 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 raised so it's uh, the plastic is a lot thicker and therefore you're not gonna get a thread fitting in there to seal properly because it's it, there's a hump in it so you need a flat spot on the barrel so what I did because I already had cut it like this uh, simply put a square against the edge here and you'll, you'll see that there's a, there's a seam here. Put the square against it and then measure seven inches, uh, I'm sorry, uh, four and three quarter inches over here and actually instead of six and a half like it says here, I went seven and a half this way. So seven and a half this way is, is this line here and four and three quarter inches and you drill your hole and it fits perfect that's a good flat spot all the way through here you could do it on this end you could do it on that end so uh, that's kind of how you do it so seven and a half inches from that end this is the line here and then uh, so it's, it's seven and a half from here and then from the seam is four and three quarters drill that hole put the fitting in there good to go silicone it now, uh, there are two bung holes in a barrel, and they have different thread sizes. This one here has really coarse threads. I have no idea what that is, because I don't have anything to measure. But the other bung is exactly the same thread size as this fitting here. So you could just thread it in there, put some Teflon tape on it, and you don't have to drill the hole that I had to drill. I didn't even think about looking at that. I assumed that they were all this kind of coarse thread here and they're not. They're different. So, word of uh, advice, when you cut your hole, look at the two bun caps that are in it. Take the one that has the fine thread, put your fitting in there, 
and make that hole on the other end problem solved real easy so that's just a neat trick that I just kind of learned because I had to drill that hole there though uh, it poses a, an additional problem I have to make sure that it doesn't leak and also on the uh, drains that I put in the trays uh, which are the uh, the bell siphons I want to make sure that they don't drain so I'm gonna put o-rings in it there's some pretty thick o-rings and they're pretty hard to find I don't have a good reliable or a large uh, you know plumbing outlet here in, uh, where I live so if you go to Lowe's or I'm sorry Home Depot not Lowe's if you go to Home Depot you can get this kit let me switch the camera over to the close-up you can get this kit here which is called the uh, DL15 from Danco and it's made for Delta Kitchen spouts. It comes with six oil rings. Three of them are thick, three of them are thin. The thin ones are not going to fit properly, so you need to use the thick ones. So all I had to do was go and grab uh, two, of these, uh, two of these packs for my six drains, and I was good to go. For the big one, because I had already drilled that hole, I ended up having to put a cap on it. And what fits perfect when you stretch it a little bit is this tub drain gasket. It's perfect for us, you can see here. So all I'm going to do is stick it in there, silicone the heck out of it, and then put a, uh, a lock ring on the other side, silicone that too. Problem solved. So I just thought I'd uh, kind of uh, show you that and uh, let you see, you know, how we're putting it together. Um, the next step is after I get the rest of my fittings out of the acid bath, clean them, and then probably tomorrow I'll start connecting everything, putting it together. Uh, something else that I just that I did today was uh, I had to go on business uh, to Houston, and I found an outlet over there that had the uh, expanded clay media, the hydroton, uh, on hand. And this company actually shut down, the factory shut down due to a patent lawsuit. And they have 30 bags left over. These guys are normally 43 to 47 dollars. They only have 30 left, I bought all 30 for 30 dollars each. So that is the grow media that we're going to use. It's, uh, it's pretty expensive stuff, but it's, it's the best. It's pH neutral. It's easy on the hands, doesn't weigh as much. Uh, so we'll have enough so that when we go into a larger system, we'll definitely have the amount that I need on hand. So I thought I'd sh uh, share that with you tomorrow. I gotta make another trip to Houston and I'll pick up a couple of uh, 275 gallon IBC totes and uh, we're gonna use one. The other one's just spare to keep around. And that's gonna be the main fish tank uh, for the tilapia. So slowly but surely getting through and uh, I will continue giving you updates as uh, it progresses. Thanks, God bless everybody.